okay so i'm gonna try to make this video quick as much as possible so this video is about how to clone your fiverr application all right and yes before i you know kind of dive into this video i would like to kind of give an answer to um the question that has been asked most of the time which is you know i've actually dropped a couple of videos in the past you know talking about the different fiverr clone apps you know talking about um app cloning application or whatever okay so i've talked about quite i think two or three if i'm not mistaken and yes people do ask me a question that do you think do this app kind of get notification um some of those i've dropped in the past actually got notification and i think for some reason some are no longer working on my device and some are still working on some other people's device as far as i know so you can check out those videos and try those apps out if it works for you great if it gets notification great but this particular one that i want to talk about some of you may be familiar with it and some of you may not be right yes i'm going to talk about the app because as far as i know it is the one working on my own mobile device so i just have to stick to it and also yes i'm giving a review about its notification and also some cool features i actually love about it okay and you might actually find it useful too or helpful all right so now let's just get straight to the stuff and at the end of the video i'll surely be giving you a tip on how to enhance your notification you know probably i think these settings do actually apply to notification so i'll just talk about it and show you guys how you can do the same thing on your phone all right so just stick with me to the end of the video so now let's just get straight to the app we are talking about the app uh we'll be talking about today is called the phone app pro as you can see it's the pro version okay yes i've tried this app for more than a month or two i guess so you know this app has been working great and fine but before you go on to download it i just have to let you know that from my own end after testing it the notification of this app cloner is not that consistent that is to let you know that it works sometimes and sometimes it does not work all right it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work so that's just to let you know because i know that almost everyone find this particular feature very important and i mean it is very important to me too but then this is what i'm going to advise you when it comes to notification get your gmail signed in get your mail signed in on your device or on a device you can always access so when you get a message i think fiverr probably sent you send you a message five minutes after you do not read it on the actual app okay or the website so i think fiverr will probably send the message five minutes after or 10 or 15 i don't know so just always be on the lookout in your mail so as not to miss message and when you miss message you don't you don't only miss a client your response rate also drops so just try to stick to your mail as much as possible if your notification is not working that is my advice for you all right so i mean playing up is so let's just proceed Playing app is not as complex as you think it is. Just click on the plus icon and then select your app and clone, okay? And that's that about the cloning. So let me just quickly talk about the feature I find useful on this app. So let me just click on one of these and then click on management. As you can see, you can see the other settings. You can put shortcuts you know, to make it easy accessible from your desktop or from your screen. Um, you can see modify any more icon. I mean, that means you can just put a particular image of your own. You can change the name, so the name that you want, all of that. So once you are done, just confirm. Okay, what else? All right, let me check the management now. So just click on the management. So you can see we have the device privacy, we have the location privacy. Let me start with the location privacy. Right here, you can set, I mean, a particular location for the app okay like this is really an awesome feature so you, do, you guys don't have to worry i'm going to drop the link of this app in the description below for you guys to access and yes you can go ahead and go just play around this set a location once you like the location you want 
apply and save and you are good to go that's not about location privacy and then device privacy this is really awesome you can see you can do this open a new identity with one click just check it yes might be unchecked this is i just sign up the app and go ahead and select the mobile device too for your app i mean this is there to just you know end of create this privacy for your app and give it like as if it is a totally new android phone okay yes you can go ahead and just play around that and set that for your app all of that these are the features i actually find useful on this particular app so if you are interested in trying it out try it out you can download it in the description below try it out and let us know how it does for you in the comment section below and yes to wrap things up i said i'm gonna talk about some things you can do your settings to actually enhance your notification it's my work it's my not work i mean that's basically something but just go to the clone app all right go to the app info or you can just access this from your settings but let me just do this from here okay so go to the battery and set the um battery usage to unrestricted you know that way your phone won't be probably um limiting the app in any way you can do this for any of the past apps so probably you have one of the past app and it's not sending notification you should try this out for it before you proceed to probably download it this one so put it unrestricted and see how it does and the next settings you can do is go to your actual phone settings and search for settings right go to your actual phone settings search for battery or optimization but let me just search for battery let's give it some time to load up okay since battery is not coming up okay here we go so look at battery optimization Here's my be optimization. It's more sure have something optimization or something. So search for that on your device. So as you can see, this is blinking battery optimization. So click on battery optimization. So I want you to select all apps. So locate the app, the clone app. As you can see here, my clone app is not optimized. Okay. search for that again so start to submit okay. all right so you can see my tool app is not optimized so you should set it to not optimize you put it for optimized battery use it can be limited in a way so all these as you can see optimizing is recommended but you just want to see if it will send the notification so try this out and if it works i mean i want the notification i don't care about the recommended option so just click not optimize and once you do that check out the app for some time and see how it does okay and let me go back so about certain notification just one click go to app info the notifications and then you should see um how you can set for you can see you can set the sound you want for all your five accounts that's already bring up all the options for you to choose from i mean i always love turning on this banner option so it can pop up on my screen and select your preferred sound all of that so these are settings you just need to do to you know last notification so just try that out and let us know how it does for you in the comment section below also you can also apply this particular sentence to the past app if it is still working on your device but it's not a notification just try this out and you know let us know and if you find this video helpful do to like and subscribe and share with your family and colleagues or friends i think might be interested in such videos so have a great day